What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down who I think is the best quarterback in the NFL. We're going to be breaking down the top five guys, in my opinion. So today we got Brady, Breeze, Aaron Rodgers, Carson Wentz, and Patrick Mahomes. Those are the five that we're going to be focusing on today, and please leave in the comments, guys, if you think I missed somebody or who you think is going to be the best. So this first play by Brady, this is an absolute dime. We're going to watch this thing full speed first. So he's working in this pocket, nice, calm, relaxed. He's able to climb up in this thing, off platform, and just throw an absolute dime dot to his receiver so let's watch this thing let's break this thing down in slow motion so he's dropping back here he's very calm everybody knows brady's calm in the pocket he's got a great offensive line working for him but i want you to see is how relaxed his upper half is a lot of young quarterbacks they'll get pressure from the outside here and they'll tense up their shoulders are tense up they'll try to grip the ball too hard because they're getting uncomfortable brady's very calm he's been doing this a long time now look how good his base is right here his base is very wide he's in a power position with his legs slight bend to his knees and both feet are working at the same time now when he starts to feel pressure here from this line Linebacker. This window's to close. He's looking through this window. He's got to make something happen. So he gets out of this pocket and he scrambles upfield. Now, Brady's not a runner, so he doesn't really have a run threat. But I want you to watch his shoulders on this throw. That's why he's able to throw this thing with such a lot of pop. He's getting his shoulders torqued right here, just like he would throw a normal throw. You guys have all seen Brady work those hip drills before, and you've seen those slow motion breakdowns of his motion. This is the same exact thing. He's stepping with this right leg right here in the direction of where he wants this ball to go. It's kind of reverse. When you're a right handed quarterback and you're throwing on the run throwing off platform you got to step with your opposite leg your right leg to where you want to go and you got to get your shoulders going back to create some external rotation from your core and from your hip like he does and he's able to le extend this follow through i want you to see look it's like he's throwing like a sword off of his back he's extending his arm off platform guys it's almost like throwing darts he's extending this arm right where he wants this ball to go right into coverage and he's able to just split this defender right over his head into a dot to his receiver let's watch this thing full speed one more time so Brady does a great job, dropping back nice and slow, calm, relaxed, climb the pocket, escape up, step with the right leg, shoulders torqued, and throw an absolute dime to his receiver. That's a great job. Okay, so this is one of his more recent throws. He's going to be dropping back. He's going to be throwing to Antonio Brown against the Dolphins. Let's watch this thing. Now, this throw may not look like much to, you know, maybe the casual fan, but this is a very, very intelligent throw here by Tom Brady. And again, he's been doing this for a long time, so he understands what he needs to do in this pocket. So he sees that both of these backers right here are going to be coming, and they're going to be bringing pressure right up the middle. And he knows he's got Antonio Brown, okay? Or actually, I think one of these back, Yeah, both of them bring pressure. This backer's dropping into coverage. He's dropping into coverage. So he knows he's got a huge gap right here. And that's exactly where Antonio Brown is running. So he drops back. He takes this three-step and a hitch. But one thing I want you to see, I think this is why Brady can still play at the level that he plays because he works in the offseason all on his hips and all on his base. So look at his base right here. He's got a slight bend in his knees, almost like he's a boxer. You know, a boxer's standing in the ring. He's not straight-legged when he's trying to knock you out and he's trying to throw a dart. Brady's trying to throw a dart here over the middle, so he's got a slight bend. Now, I want you to look at that front step, how short of a stride and how fast he gets that front foot in the ground. Now, what that allows him to do is, as you can see, this back foot right here, he pivots almost like he's hitting a baseball. You're squishing the back bug. Hitting a baseball and throwing a football are very similar. So he's pivoting to bring this back hip through to create some torque from his hips because, believe me, no NFL quarterback, if they just threw it, their arm would be able to throw. It's all hips, it's all core, it's all legs, and that's why he's been able to throw for so long. The way he does because he understands this concept so he gets his hip through first they call it chasing the hip his hip is coming through and his shoulders and his arms are staying back that's hip and shoulder disassociation too complicated of a work essentially it's just your hips your hips coming through, shoulders coming back, and your shoulders and your arm are chasing your hips. So he's able to just rotate through. Look how much rotation here. All core, all hip. His base barely doesn't even move. He follows through on this thing. Again, extending his target, extending his follow through right at his target, right where he wants this ball to go, splitting this thing into coverage right here. That's a great throw by Tom Brady, a dart to his new receiver that we all love. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So drop him back. Get that front foot in the ground, pivot, just to dart into coverage, recognize the blitz. That's a great job by Tom Brady. Okay, so now we're going to be breaking down Aaron Rodgers. So one thing Aaron Rodgers is so good at is play action, okay? And the Packers are not known, really known for their run game, but he does a great job of setting up play action. So let's watch this thing full speed. And this is an amazing throw. This is a very talented throw. And this is why Rodgers is one of the best, the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL for Green Bay. And I'm glad he's got a defense this year. So let's watch this thing full speed, or let's break this thing down. So when he's coming out on this play action here, I want you to see. 
he keeps this off arm in his stomach. Now, what that does is that makes these guys have to honor the pass, okay? If he had that arm hanging out outside of his frame, he does not have to honor the pass, guys. Everybody would think, oh, it's just a handoff. They're going to go make a tackle. So they're making them honor the pass. This sets up the run game. So also what I want you to notice is how he's extending this ball out right here. He's extending the ball to the running back, selling like he's just going to hand this thing off, and his hand is at the bottom half of the ball. He's not over the laces selling like he's going to be throwing a pass. So what he does here is he pulls this thing back, pulls it fast to his stomach. That's what we need to be. We need to be fast to our stomach, quarterbacks. And what's the first thing that shoot around? His eyes. Because he knows this defender is going to be in his face. So he's got to be able to pull up or beat him to the outside, whichever. Pull up, put the brakes on, or beat him outside and make this throw. So he has to pull up here. But he's not. he's got to get this ball out to Devontae Adams quick. He's over on this drag route over the middle. So he just puts his right foot in the ground. And I want you to see how much torque he's producing from his upper half here. Getting his shoulders all the way back. His hips are going to the target. His shoulders are going back. That's how you create torque. That's how you create rotational force. So he's able to make this throw almost 20 yards down the field off platform with his hips not even squared up. It's almost like he's throwing flat-footed here. And now I want you to see how much rotation he has from his core and from his back hip here. So bringing that all the way through, he still kind of, he brings that left foot off the ground almost, but that's a great job of getting his hips torqued, extending that follow through, as you can see, extending right at the target here. That's a great job with this release, keeping those shoulders back and extending right at the target for inaccurate throw, but for considering the circumstances, that is a great throw. That is a very talented throw. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So under center, extend the ball, keep that off arm tight, pull that thing back, eyes shoot around, torque from the upper half, rotate through, giving this ball, giving our guy a chance, making a catch for a first down. That's a great job. Okay, so we're going to watch this next play. Now this play was a drop, but this was a great throw, and I think this was too great of a throw to not put in here. So let's watch this thing full speed. This is a more recent clip from when they played the Vikings last week. So same thing, play action. Now Navigating in the pocket so well like he does, making an off-balance throw, and that's just a drop by Devontae Adams, which is very uncommon. Huge Devontae Adams fan, but let's watch this thing full speed one more time. Or break this thing down, excuse me. So, same deal here. Extending this ball, keeping that off arm in his gut. Okay, coming back, extending the ball to the running back. That makes all of them think run, but he keeps that off arm tight. So they, they got to honor the pass. They have to honor the pass when it comes to the run game. You want to make everything at this point. They call this the mesh point. Everything at this mesh point looked the exact same. So he pulls this ball back. What's the first thing that shoots around? His eyes. Eyes are the first thing to shoot around. He's going through his progressions downfield because that's what he knows he has to do. So he shoots his eyes back around. Now, I want you to see his base in the pocket here. Nice, strong base. Feet are just outside of his shoulders. Slight bend to his knees. Now he's getting a little pressure here. Now I want you to see how his feet are navigating in this pocket. Both feet moving at the same time. He's not doing that kick step with just his right leg or just his left leg where your base is split like all these quarterback coaches love to teach. He's moving both feet at the same time. Now, when he decides to make this throw here, I want you to see how much of a power position his base is in. His weight is distributed about 60-40. He's got a powerful position on his back leg. He's pushing off this inside arch. Now I want you to see, everybody loves to talk about Rogers quick release look how much his hips are coming through before his upper half the reason why he has a quick release is because he gets that left leg in the ground fast he gets that hip shooting through and the arm will just support that okay so his hips are coming through first his arm comes through even off balance he's extending that follow through as you can see right here extending right at the target letting this thing go and this is a great ball this is just ultimately a drop by Devontae Adams it happens not like not common for him but let's watch this thing full speed one more time play Play action, navigating in the pocket. Pulls that thing back, navigating in the pocket, navigating in the pocket, extends, lets this ball go. Just a little bit of a drop right there, but that's all right. That's a great ball still from Aaron Rodgers. Okay, so now we're going to be breaking down Drew Brees. So he's going to be working an out fade concept. So the inside receiver here is a cover two look, which means these two safeties are coming out wide. There's going to be a gap in the middle of the field, and there's going to be a gap in this hole right here up the sideline. So we're going to watch this thing full speed first. So Breeze gives a little step to the out, freezes the corner, drives that thing in. They call that a whole shot, guys, for a touchdown. Let's break down what makes this thing so great right here. So Breeze dropping back in the pocket. So it's hard to see the corner right here, but Breeze just gives a step. And that's what freezes this corner because the corner in cover two is responsible for this flat area. So he knows he's not going to the out. He knows already from pre-snap read, going through his coverage reads, that he's not going to be going to this out right now. So he just steps here. 
steps to the out, and what that does is that freezes this corner, makes him come down, makes him think he's going to break on this out here, and now he's got this entire gap right here. Now, you see where the receiver's at, and you see Breeze is already starting his throw. That's called anticipation, guys. He's anticipating this window. This got, this ball has to be on a dot before this safety even thinks about getting over there. So Breeze does a good job of rotating through, driving this ball right in the hole, and so it's a touchdown. So Main thing here, guys, is you see, he doesn't do this whole pump fake thing. He doesn't take this ball back and bring it all the way around because then he's going to have to reset and then he's going to have to make this throw. And by that time, the safety will be all the way over there. So it's just a step, it's just a little step from his left leg. That's all it takes to get that guy to bite. Now, what I want you to see here is the reason why he's able to make this throw is look how wide his base is, guys. Feet are outside of his shoulders. He's a smaller guy, but he can still have a good base. A lot of guys don't like to have a wide base because they feel like it makes him shrink. But Drew Brees is one of the tallest, not the tallest, one of the shortest guys in the NFL quarterback wise so it doesn't matter and that's why he gets this left foot down so fast he wouldn't be able to make this throw if he didn't have a good base if his base was close together he'd have a long stride it would take longer and that safety would be able to get over so he gets that ball on the ground look at his back hip same deal his back hip is coming through great his shoulders are going back he's able to rotate through create a lot of force here and just drive this ball right into that whole shot, cover two ball. That's a great job by Drew Brees making this throw. Then he makes that guy miss for a touchdown. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So dropping back, step to the flat, reset, drive this whole shot throw, touchdown. That's a great job by Drew Brees. Okay, so this is going to be a play action fake by Drew Brees, and they call this a conflict climb movement inside the pocket. Let's watch this thing full speed. So turn, plays that play action, come upside pressure, reset, just throw a ball upfield. Now, this is in a double coverage, and I know a lot of you will probably criticize him for this, but a lot of the times, guys, if you trust your guys, if you've worked with your guys all week in practice, all it is is about giving them a chance. we got to give them a chance to make a play, and that's what Drew Brees does a good job of. So, again, he's extending this ball back. One thing I don't like about this fake is it's a little low. He's not really being a salesman, and his hands are over the threads, okay? A good linebacker is going to notice that his hands are on those threads. Okay, it's passed. Nobody hands the ball off like that, and that's another thing for you linebackers watching this video. If your hands are over the threads, Threads, or do you see a quarterback's hands over the threads? That's when you don't want it. That's when you know it's a pass because nobody hands the ball off like that. But when he pulls it back, the first thing that shoots around are his eyes. Now, He's not looking at this outside pressure right here. He's not looking at his offensive line. He's looking downfield. So this guy's coming upfield. He beat this guy. I think this is tight end blocking for him. Yes, yeah, tight ends blocking for him. He beat him. He's coming top shoulder. Now, Drew Brees doesn't want to slide up in the pocket because he's leaving the football exposed. And that's a big popular thing with these defensive linemen is they get a strip sack. So what he does is he puts himself between the defender and and the ball. So there's the ball, there's the defender, Breeze is right in the middle, okay? That's how you have good ball security. You step through with this back leg too. You see how he brings this back leg, he steps it through. That's protecting your top shoulder. They call that movement the conflict climb, okay? So there's conflict in the pocket, you're climbing the pocket, you protect that ball, you get back to your platform here. Now Drew Breeze is throwing this thing downfield. His shoulders are on this 45 degree angle right here, guys. 45 degree angle, so when he gets that front foot down here, he's gonna be able to rotate up and and over through this throw to get some arc on this thing because he's going to be throwing this thing downfield. So he goes up and over, as you can see. Same deal with his hips. His hips are coming through great. Hips are coming through first, shoulders, and the ball is trailing. They call it chasing the hip, guys, again. And he's able to rotate through, rotate up and over, gets great air on this ball, and he's got to give this guy a chance here. That's a great job. But conflict climb is a very common movement from NFL quarterbacks. None of them slide without protecting that ball. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So extend the ball. Conflict climb between the defender and the ball. Reset his feet. Get back on that platform. Throw this thing with some air. Give this guy a chance. That's a great job by Drew Brees. Okay, so now we're going to be breaking down Patrick Mahomes. Now, he is one of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL, if not the most talented. This first year, he's proven it this second year. So let's watch this play right here against the Patriots. AFC Championship game. He's going to have a great pocket, but he's going to leave the pocket to extend and give himself some time. Makes this throw off platform. That is such a talented throw. That is an amazing throw that you do not see every day. The only guy that can come close to that is Aaron Rodgers and this is just a throw you don't see every day so here we go so Mahomes takes this ball he's dropping in the pocket nice and calm in the pocket again he throws a laser and look how relaxed his shoulders are okay because he understands the concept that it's all hips it's all core it's all legs he doesn't want to force this thing with his arm because he knows it won't get there if he does that so what he does standing in this pocket nice and calm he escapes out of the pocket now again he steps with this right leg where he wants this ball to go and now he's getting his shoulders torqued back let's watch this a little bit more 
Ball's a little low here, but he gets some torque from his upper half, steps with his right leg. His hips are going to where he wants this ball to go, and his shoulders are going back. That's how you create torque. That's how you're going to create force on this ball. So he's able to rotate through. As you can see, he gets a ton of rotational force from his upper half here because he's stepping where this ball wants to go. And now look at his follow through. He's leaving this thing where he wants it to go to lead his guy right up field, giving him some air here. He gets his shoulders up at a 45 degree angle as well to rotate up and over this throw gives this ball some air lets this thing drop right in the bucket for his receiver that is a crazy talented throw let's watch this thing full speed one more time so drops back in this pocket here nice and relaxed very calm very calm escapes this pocket eyes are downfield steps to where he wants it to go torque with his upper half drops this thing right in the bucket for an absolute dime that is a great ball okay so this is a throw he made against the raiders last week let's watch this thing full speed here so he's going to be moving in this pocket, both feet at the same time, a little bit of an overstride. It's a little bit of that baseball background, but an absolute dime to the back of this end zone. Let's watch this thing. Let's break it down in slow motion. So the reason why he's able to make this throw is you see he's not moving one leg at a time. and He's not kick-stepping here. Every, all these quarterback coaches love to throw in these drills where the guys are kick-stepping. I'm sure you guys have seen it where they kick with one leg and they push off their left and they swing that right back. This is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL moving both feet at the exact same time. Now, the only thing I can criticize is his feet are a little close together here and you're going to see what that does it takes a while for this left leg to get in the ground so his feet are close together he's got a little bit of a long stride and what that does is that makes this release a little bit longer but he's got so much arm talent he's got crazy torque see once he does get it in the ground that's a good base there if he would have just stayed wide the entire time the release would have been even quicker but his hips are coming through first he's got a slight bend in that left left leg that's why he's able to create so much power if he were to extend with this left leg here and just go straight up and down he would have no power his legs would shoot back but he's able to get these hips coming through first this is a perfect example of chasing the hip hip coming through first the ball is trailing his shoulders are trailing that's how you create torque that's how you create force and then he's able to just drive this thing keep a slight bend in that leg for an absolute dime to the end zone let's watch this thing full speed one more time so dropping back here both feet moving at the same time drive get that left knee bent get those hips coming through absolute dime for a touchdown that's a great job okay so this is a play Carson Wentz made on Sunday Night Football now, as a quarterback, you got to have that dog in you. you got to be willing to just die on that field almost. I know that sounds cliche, but this is a perfect example of why I think Wentz belongs in the conversation. He didn't have the best game here, but just look at this. Never say die attitude. Extend the play. You're down in the fourth quarter. That's a great job by Wentz. That shows a lot of heart, but a couple things we can break down here. So, He's dropping back in this pocket. I want you to see here, he's getting topside pressure, but where are his eyes? downfield he's not worried about all this crap on the inside here his eyes are downfield so now he gets some top field pressure look what he does with his back shoulder puts himself between the defender and the ball between the defender and the ball now he's climbing up this pocket he's got to buy some time i would like two hands on the ball right here but you got to make something happen sometimes so he's able to get upfield his eyes are always downfield his eyes never drop he's never looking at any of these guys so he comes up here and he's getting dragged down to the ground but look at how much he's able to still produce some torque from his shoulders coming up off platform and he's able to rotate through even while he's going down this is so this is a ton of torque that he's able to produce here while going to the ground a guy pulling had his legs extending this follow through at the target anytime we're off platform we always want to be almost like we're throwing darts with our follow through rotating with his upper half extending at the target and throwing a great ball on third and nine that is a huge job by Carson Wentz that is a great job making this throw let's watch this thing full speed one more time so he's dropping back here between the defender and the ball with his back shoulder, eyes downfield, create some torque, extend the follow through. That's a great job extending the play by Carson Wentz. We can break this thing down one more time. Extending the play, extending his arm at the target. That's a great job. Okay, so this is a big time throw here by Carson Wentz. And again, this is why I think he belongs in the conversation. Again, keeping that opposite arm tight, extending it out with the right arm, making that point look the exact same. So he tucks the ball. Now he's going to be taking a three-step drop here. So one, two, three two three so this is so crazy opposite hash being able to throw this thing no hitch in the pocket just planting his foot and driving this ball let's watch this thing full speed right now this is such a big time throw here by Carson Wentz so extending the ball back one two three plants his foot in the ground takes a shot and throws an absolute dime to the opposite sideline this is one of the most impressive throws that I've ever seen so he's coming back here extends the ball back pulls this thing back foot in the ground right here again 
nice balanced bass in the pocket, okay? I want you to see how balanced his bass is, gets that hip coming through like we were talking about. As you can see, he's got a ton of hip drive. His arm is ball the ball is chasing his hip he's extending out at the target throwing this thing on an absolute dime to his receiver right on the sideline opposite hash that is an amazing throw by Carson Wentz extends this ball back to three drop plants his foot in the ground drives this ball driving off this back leg as you can see pushing off that inside arch rotating through extending at the target for a great throw let's watch this thing full speed one more time here extends it back one two three puts his foot in the ground takes a shot too that is a great ball by Carson Wentz and that's why I think he belongs in the conversation all right guys I really want to thank you for watching I really appreciate it guys please leave in the comments who you think is the best quarterback in the NFL and I'll see you guys next time